I'm Ann McAvick at the Live News Desk, taking a live look at the U.S. Capitol, where the January 6th committee has postponed tomorrow's hearing, but is back in action on Thursday. And I just spoke about it with South Bay Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren, who is at the head of the inquiry. I've never been involved in an investigation as wide-ranging and as in-depth as this has been. It's been a, a quite an education, frankly. And Representative Lofgren has helped investigate plenty of presidential misconduct in her career, including Watergate and President Trump's impeachment. We also spoke with her about her eight fellow committee members, including the only two Republicans. So there's been uh, a unity here that you don't always see on congressional committees. We're not sniping at each other. We're trying to find out what happened. So far, the panel has heard from several members of former President Trump's administration saying he had become detached from reality over the results of the 2020 election. The committee also alleges Trump's campaign raised $250 million in donations Way off of the falsehoods. Election. The people who have been watching these hearings are upset about what has gone on, what has been allowed to go on. And then you look for a resolution. You look for what's next or somebody to be punished. It doesn't seem like that's really going to come out of these hearings. But you are talking about the potential of policy change. So what are we talking about specifically well, there? You know, we don't know. I mean, the attorney general said he and the prosecutors are watching all the hearings. I was surprised by that. We're going to make all this evidence available to them. And again, they have to make an independent decision on what, if anything, to do. One potential policy change she meant, mentioned, amending the Electoral Count Act. You can find out more and watch my full interview with Representative Lofgren on CBS News Bay Area and our website, kpix.com.